Amonicom. My name is Eric Rogers and I'd like to introduce you to your new Amani GTX CPLD Rapid Prototyping Kit. At the heart of the GTX is the Altera Max 2 240 CPLD. Peripheral I.O. modules can be plugged into the GTX via the six PMOD connectors on the board. Custom daughter boards may also reside on the back of the GTX via 36 available I.O. and three power options. The Amani GTX is compatible with the Arduino and its accompanying shields via the Arduino headers that are included in your kit. The GTX also features a stock 64 MHz oscillator with a second expansion pad available for a second oscillator of the user's choice. One feature that sets the Amani GTX apart from other Amani derivatives is that it comes native with its own USB JTAG programmer on board. Power is made available to the GTX via the traditional barrel jack connector and or the USB connector whichever is applicable. The four-digit seven-segment display module is a peripheral plug-in that makes use of the two PMOD docks on the front edge of the GTX. The module consists of four individually controllable digits, four decimals, one colon, one apostrophe, and four tactile input switches. To begin, plug a USB Mini B cable into the Amani GTX. Immediately you will notice the power LED illuminates as well as the two user LEDs beating back and forth. Unplug the USB cable and insert the seven segment display module into the PMOD docks on the front of the GTX. Reinsert the USB cable. Next we're going to create a simple clock using the Amani GTX and seven segment display module. Open the Cortis 2 development suite. Go to the file open project and select the 4-dig 7-seg project you downloaded from modulesurf.net and uncompress to your machine. In the project navigator pane, double click the 4-dig 7-seg to open the top level schematic. Here you will see symbol files, nets, and glue logic. By double clicking each block symbol file, we can see the Verilog RTL that defines the functionality of each block. The rightmost block is the 7 segment module driver. The four BCD counter blocks define the behavior of each digit. The clock distribution module divides the 64 MHz clock into four clocks, 32 MHz, 2 MHz, a 1 second clock, and a 1 minute clock. The 1 second clock is being used here to clock the seconds digit on the module. The 2 MHz clock is used for the counters internal to the switch debouncer modules. Three switches are used to set the time on the module. Switch 1 is the enable function, and switch 4 sets the digits 4 and 3, while switch 2 sets digits 1 and 2. The I.O. pads represent the I.O. pins on the CPLD. Click on Assignments, Pin Planner to bring up the pin assignment window. The pins have already been assigned for you. Exit the pin planner. Click Assignments Device to bring up the device selection menu. The EPM 240T100C5 has already been selected for you. Next, click on Device and Pin Options. Highlight the Unused Pin menu option and make sure to reserve all unused pins as input tri stated. Damage may occur if unused pins are driving ground while another device is trying to drive that node. Exit the dialog. The project is complete, so we will now demonstrate synthesis. Click on the Start Compilation icon and you will see messages begin to scroll in the message window. The synthesis process is described in green, warnings are in blue, and error messages in red. While errors will halt the synthesis process, warnings will not. It is advised that you inspect all warning messages and understand how they impact your project. Upon completion, bring up the JTAG programmer by clicking on the programmer icon. Under the hardware setup, ensure that USB Blaster is the currently selected hardware. This is the integrated onboard JTAG programmer that is unique to the Yamani GTX. Highlight the object file and press delete. Click auto detect to initialize the JTAG chain and verify that programmer detects the CPLD. While this step is not necessary, it is an important debugging tool. 
Delete the EPM240 line, press Add File, and select the 4 digit 7 segpoff object file. Check the boxes under Program slash Configure and click Start. The progress bar will increment to 100% until the process is complete. Set the time on your clock by first holding down switch 1 on the 7 segment display and then pushing switches 2 and 4. You will notice Let's go ahead and make this clock a minute counter by changing from the 1 second to the 1 minute clock. Close the programmer and go back to the project schematic. Find the net above the switch 4 debounce module and change its name to clock underscore 1 min by double clicking on the net name and typing clk underscore 1 min. Press enter and recompile the project. Be sure to save first. Open the programmer and upload the new object file. Observe that the colon still blinks once per second, however the least significant digit does not change. Set the time, set the unit aside, and observe the clock over time. Compare its accuracy to your favorite timepiece. As you learn programmable logic, come back to this module and modify it to your needs. For example, you may need to stitch in logic to have LED 50 light up when a certain time is reached. Or have the unit count backwards like a kitchen timer, lighting LED 50 when you reach zero. Or install a commercially available sound module and have the Imani GTX sound off when your dinner is ready. Thank you for watching and enjoy your Imani GTX kit. Be sure to check back for more instructional videos. Thank you.